Hey guys, Bobber18 here, and welcome back to some more Super Mario Bros. 3. In the last part, we started on World 8 and made some progress in it, and in this part, we will continue on with World 8 going into this pipe here. Uh, yeah. So, after this pipe, we are actually going to be getting in to finally the numbered levels of World 8. Uh, starting with level one, obviously, and for some reason, I never even got why it's like, um, like all dark around here. I guess for like uh, ambience or ambiance or I don't know how you pronounce it. Or I don't, I don't really know how you pronounce it, but yeah, I guess that's probably it because we're like in the second to last area of the game. Spoilers, but I guess not really. And these levels can actually be kind of hard. Well, level one can be kind of hard. Level two isn't really hard if you take like a shortcut like that I'm going to show you. Um, like, so this power up right here, this one just has a lot of piranha plants, and you can kill them pretty easily with a fire flower. Unless you lose it, like I just did. Yeah, don't lose a fire flower. That, that's, that's, um, bad for your survival. And I kind of like the background, because it's like all, it's like all foresty and stuff, and there's a star there. No. Uh, there. Uh... If you if you duck here, you're safe from the the thing, the bullet bill cannon right there. Uh, that, there's a lot of bullet bills. This level's uh, theme is sort of like a forest with like the piranha plants and bullet bills. And I I think this is the only level in the game to have this t type of background, like um like a forest background. Uh, whoa, uh, ow, that was stupid. Uh, if you get stuck in here, you have to bounce off of a bullet bill. Um, actually, never mind. I think you can just run up here. Or there's a block right there. That helps. That helps tremendously because I did not really... I was not really confident in my bullet jumping skills. Okay, let's get you out of the way. And I killed him in the process. Jump on the note block there or else you might be in for a pitfall of death. And we're already in the, at the end of the level. Wow, I usually never get that on my first try. You know, I'm saying that with a lot of levels in World 8. And in World 7, too. I guess I'm really not g that good at the game. And that one-up was delayed again. Kind of weird. Anyway, level two. There's actually only two numbered levels in, in um, World 8. As you'll see, there's like no level three. And if you go down here, um, down the sandfall, or sand, waterfall, sandfall? Yeah, I guess that's what it's called. There's actually a secret down here. Um, there's that pipe, or this pipe over here. Um, I kind of forgot which one takes you to the good thing, but I think one of them is a Tunuki suit, so I'm just gonna go to this one. Uh, no, this one's just a lot of coins. You know what? I'm... I'm gonna go back, because I wanna see what's in the, what was in the... Whoa. Yeah, it, it skips this, which is kind of an annoying section with nope blocks. Well, actually, now I have a shortcut to the beginning to, uh, show the... show the other way that the sandfall tube thing brings you. Uh, I'm actually not really sure. I practiced this level a couple days ago, but I don't really have that good of a memory. Uh, as you saw back there, if you don't go down here, it'll just take you to a, a section with note blocks, which can be kind of annoying, which is why you want to skip this. Oh, I think there's just a power-up, or maybe it's a life in there. No, it's a power-up, okay. So, no tanuki suit, but it's like the happy area place, so that's good. Uh, watch out for the fire, fire, uh, piranha plants there. And go down the slope, and then we have another section with, oh, whoa, with that there. And then we're at the end of the level. And that was not very hard, especially if you take the shortcut. The pipe, the second pipe that I went in will take you farther, uh, in the level. Like, I think one pipe up that, one more pipe up that hill than the other one would have. Um, and I believe this pipe actually just takes you to, like, right next to here or something. Or actually, I think it takes you to somewhere block, no? Oh, it takes you to, what? What was the point of that? What's the point of that pipe at all? Okay, guys. Um, sorry for that cut there. I was just, um... Well, I had, like, uh, like, almost 15 minutes worth of, um... Failed outtakes, you could say. And eventually, I just decided to go look up how to do this level because I could not remember how to do it at all. And now I feel like an idiot for not remembering how to do it. So... Let's do this level properly in one run, hopefully. And you don't even want to see those failed, um, failed recordings. Because they were just, um, horrible like that. 
They were just terrible. Yeah. So, first you want to um, jump up. <laughs> jump up here. Jump up here. Then jump up here. Then go in the door before they get you. Hurry along the conveyor belt. Well, not hurry. And then jump over here. Get a um, power up. And then um, dodge the poto booze. Go back in the door. Then go back in the door. Then go back down the conveyor belt to see the respawning power up, which is a leaf this time. Then don't go back in the door this time. Hit the um, hit the blocks there. Then uh, well, I was gonna try to jump there, but I sometimes you can make this jump with a with a leaf or a tanuki suit, but I just didn't want to do it. There's a thwomp here, but if you um are quick enough, you can get one right there. Then just be patient and break like the first two blocks. You can break all three if you want, and then make like a soft jump there so you can get inside there. Then what you want to do is head all the way to the right. So um uh whoa that was close there. <laughs> Did you see? With the thwomp. That was very close, very close. Okay. So these conveyor belts can be kind of annoying, but if you um tactic your way around them, you should be fine. Uh, there's a star in there, but I did not actually mean to grab it. I was gonna break these first. I have such trouble with breaking those. I have no idea why. Uh, dodge the the uh, rotor discs. Yeah, that's what they're called. I remember. Um, and then you want to um, dodge him. Dodge Mr. Thwompy Thwomp Thwomp. Then, when you see the P-switch, not that door, but this door over here, go in it, you will have a, a thing right here, and there's nothing in it, actually. And then duck under these spikes, so the po the uh, conveyor belt will carry you. And then we're at Boom Boom. That wasn't so hard, was it? Well, you should have seen the failed outtakes that I have. There were like 20 minutes of them. Okay, okay, good. I did not die in Boom Boom. I've had a Boom Boom deathless run! Yes! Although that wasn't really hard, because Boom Boom's like the easiest boss ever. As you saw in the last part, he's even harder than Hammer Bro, and I guess it felt the need to light up right there. Yes, save, definitely. Um, so that's also why my my life count is different, because I had to cut out all this failed stuff. Um, this pipe, I believe... No, I think this will lead you to the final area. It's the lock cleared... The, the lock that cleared was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. This level will take... This pipe will take you back... Remember where Peach got kidnapped to? I guess Bowser took her, like, through here, through this pipe, and then took her, um, through this pipe, into, if I can get through here, into the final area of the game. Now there's one final level before we get to the Bowser stage, which I will be doing in this part, so <laughs> you thought I was going to say the next part, didn't you? Well, you're wrong. And we have one final tank, uh, tank level. It sort of reminds me of the la of the second to last level in the original Super Mario Bros. Like the background, it's like a, ow, it's like a gate. It's sort of like an like the it's like an airship, like like you're on it all the time, and you're not really off of it. Like it's well, that one kind of was. Like it's really one big tank. Well, it's a couple big tanks, but you get you get my point, don't you? You get what I'm saying, don't you? Um, dodge the wrenches. Rocky wrenches are very annoying. They're probably the most annoying... Well, maybe not the most annoying. They're, most, they're the most annoying enemy on an airship, because I think they're the only enemy that can appear on an airship. Like, actual enemy. Besides, like, cannonballs and and bomb-ombs. Well, bomb-ombs don't really count. I, I more count those as, like, an obstacle, I guess. Speaking of bomb-ombs, you want to dodge their explosions and then get killed by one, because that's totally what a good person would do. Um, and I don't even have any more power-ups, so... Actually, yeah, I do. I guess I'll use this. It's an extra hit. Plus, when am I, what else am I gonna use the hammer bro suit ever again? I want to save one frog suit, though, but it's not really like I would use a frog suit in this level anyway, would I? Oh, it can't kill them. Okay. Never mind when I said it can kill anything. Excuse me for thinking that. Well, okay. Um, that was kind of weird. Uh, can kill kill you though. Yeah, can kill you. Be afraid of the hammer bro suit. Be very afraid. 
How did I not jump there? Maybe it's because the rocky wrench was like raising up and I was on top of him or something. I have no idea. Well, this is an auto scrolling level again and another tank level. I believe it's called like Bowser's uh, Super Tanks or something like that. It's, it's a really funny name. Like all the all the not numbered levels in this world have really weird names. That's where I died last time, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Whoa. Cannons coming out of nowhere. Ow. I can't throw that high. Please let there be a power up. Or let it be boom boom. Either of the two I wouldn't mind. Oh yes, it's boom boom. I, okay, I guess this is the last time we face boom boom. One more time, boom boom. Final comeback and you are already dead. Well, that is a deal breaker because that is the final level of the game besides Bowser's Castle. But as you see, there is Bowser's Castle, which we will be doing in the next part. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then when we take on the final level of the game, Bowser's Castle.